Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to another monster video. So, in today's video, we're going to be getting the rank five monster in the maze. Um, currently, the maze is live, of course. The house of dogs, there's a discount, and we're going to be getting this monster maxed out. And on top of that, we're going to take it to PvP and test this monster out because right now it is super, super broken because of the zero cooldown. Uh, it is just like spammable, really, really good. So, I hope you guys are excited for today. If you are, make sure to drop a like, subscribe, show notification on. Anyways, let's go on and get started. I guess I couldn't have done this without the help of Clockhawk. Uh, one of my team members, huge thanks to him. Um, you guys can also check check out his channel he uploads ml content um there will be a link in the description down below so huge shout out to him for letting me borrow his account to make this video possible for you guys it was his idea so i was like you know what why not let's do it so uh we have the monster here right and as you guys can see the other two already claimed the ambrosia and the jack russell the normal path this is going to be the path that basically provides all the cells to get this monster max out and we have basically 24k coins here to play around with right 24k coins um there's still like six days remaining but i mean come on we got the coins right so we might as well uh oh okay so the first wheel actually gives us 25 coins i don't think we'll be needing that but if we do we do um i, I doubt it honestly a rank four will be fine too um right now it is on this council so 50 percent discount as you guys could see we are able to get tons of cells for such cheap amount of coins like look at that it's only 335 to move it yeah so in case you guys didn't know it's really really cheap this time to get this monster like to rank four or rank five for example especially rank four if you want to go for a rank four um i think if i remember correctly the price is about 30 dollars or so if i'm not mistaken um if you pick, purchase the uh, 10,000 coins and then on top of that do your collection for the next few days you should have enough of about like 16 or 17 k which is enough to basically get this monster to rank four when there's like a discount right this a discount like this for example 50 percent discount so anyways 50 cells there's also 48 46 44 and so on oh my gosh look at all these cells we're gonna be getting all of them of course and then we're gonna go ahead and max it out real quick from the lab and um after that we're gonna take it to pvp because i mean come on we gotta take it to pvp it's super broken right now and also let me go ahead and tell you guys this if you're thinking about getting this monster maxed out i just try to think twice because they might end up nerfing this monster very soon um i don't think he's supposed to have the zero cooldown on two of his skills or if not all of them actually so just make sure to watch out because you know just you might end up regretting it after so just be careful okay just think it twice i would say just get the egg honestly but if you want to go for a rank five that's up to you um it's just that there is a risk that you that they will actually change this monster's skill sets cooldowns actually like the cooldowns on his skills they might make it higher so right now since they're still on their break i'm going to be basically um getting this monster to rank five we're going to play around with it on pvp have some fun and then from there on um yeah we're just going to basically test this out i mean i'm super excited there's still 14k coins remaining now it's taking about 900 coins wait what Wait, am I saying that's right? 100 coins. But it just, it dropped down. That's interesting. So when you get like, I think halfway through, right? I think that's about halfway through, right? Yeah, that's about halfway through. Um, the remaining half. So basically, it'll reset back to 100 coins. As you guys can see. So that's why it's so cheap. That's why it was shown that it was like super, super cheap. That's, it's because of that. Basically, when you get through halfway, it'll basically get cheaper. So you might as well go halfway and then the remaining coins, I mean, it's going to be easy, right? Because it's going to be really really cheap it's gonna come back down to 100 100 for like 100 cells or 200 cells it's so worth it like look at this who wouldn't move 235 coins for 214 cells that is so so worth it all right now we have about 9600 coins remaining and we're getting like 200 cells each now um almost 300 actually in about um two or three seconds it's gonna be about 300 cells per move um oh my gosh that's a lot of cells it's a lot of cells and like imagine if this was like for example ambrosia imagine imagine if this was ambrosia and not cells for this monster dang that would have been really really good but yeah it's just a cells for the monster i mean that's basically the plan for this video right to get this monster ranked up to max out and then take it to vp yeah now we're at 406 cells so we got we're around like 400 range and we're almost done look at that now it costs a thousand coins dang wait are, do we have enough we do have enough <laughs> we have i have 60 extra but we got it. We got it to rank five, ladies and gentlemen. It says completed on top. Congratulations, you've completed all the rounds in the challenge. Uh, we get 100 cells at the end. Um, and of course, we are going to rank up this monster. So once again, huge thanks to um, Clockhawk for making this possible. Man, he is a legend. All right, we're going to go ahead and break this out, rank it up. It's enough gems, right? Yeah, it's enough gems. I remember when I was doing my monster reviews and stuff. 
This should be enough gems. Okay, yeah, yeah. So we're going to go ahead and rink it up again. There we go. We just got it to rank 5, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> we got the monster to rank 5 just like that. Okay, so I think there's a second round now, right? Nope, is it? No. Oh, it just says completed, that's all. So every time you go in, it just says completed. I thought there'd be like a second round. I mean, it wouldn't make sense if there is a second round. Maybe just for Ambrosia, yeah, but like not for the monster. All right, so we're going to go ahead and quickly feed it up real quick. Um, oh, okay, wait. There we go. Auto skip. I was about to say, why is it popping up? Uh, but anyways, here we go. This is going to be satisfying. Just getting it to 150 like this. It's been a while since I've done this. I remember when I was doing it for my monster reviews, but yeah, it's been a while. Anyways, so level 150, just like that. Uh, here are the stats, guys. Okay, you, you guys see the, you guys could see the traits as well. Not really a huge fan of the traits, honestly. Um, but anyways, uh, besides that, the runes. This is really important, okay? So I might actually do like... Mm, let's see. Let's check out the skills first, actually. Um, so we have Seymour's bites with his wings. Applies damage boost to all allies. Okay, hold on, hold on. These are the skills he went with already. Look at this. Look how broken this is, guys. Find the prey, right? It deals low light damage, applies triple damage to itself during one turn, gives an extra turn. So you get triple damage, and guess what? It's zero cooldown. So next turn, you can do it again. There's this hunt mode, which is actually zero cooldown, yet once again, gives you an extra turn with damage boost and precision. And then there's also this other skill, search the target, which is also zero cooldown. So it's spammable. All of these skills, as you guys can see, are spammable. This one comes with vulnerability. It it doesn't give you an extra turn but it's okay um there's this also search to target which um deals some damage applies double damage to itself gives one extra turn so what you could literally do i wish the vulnerability one was actually spammable that would have been so sweet oh man imagine that um but yeah i mean it's fine i mean still like we got all these other skills so all of his skills are actually zero cooldown if you guys take a look at this Every single one of them are zero cooldown. So this is definitely a bug. There's no way that this is going to stay. And um, we might as well have some fun with it while it's here, right? Imagine if his ultimate was also... It is zero cooldown. I mean, no, no. It's an ultimate. Everybody's ultimate like that with zero stamina. It doesn't require anything. Let's take a look at this. Uh, we have Royal Max's banner as one of the options. Um, we also have like Mr. B's banner and a few other ones that you can actually go with. Like, for example, char charging banners and stuff like that. But I think I'm going to do Royal Magus for one. And then the other one could be charging or Mr. B's banner. I mean, that's what we have here, right? And then here for Doom Talents, I don't think there are any talents right now besides this one right here the spirit sword that actually gives stamina i actually have an idea what if we do demonic pact right and then the monster and the enemy team if they're not immune to death countdown we kind of trigger the anticipation over and over again demonic pact will kill them so then we don't have to worry about anticipation um if that makes sense but the only issue will be um clutch clutch for sure or any other tank that basically has um What's it called? The seven cents talent. I feel like that's going to be an issue, but we can actually play around with this. This isn't a bad idea. <laughs> we can we can give this a try. And I was thinking maybe we do a team stamina here. So we basically have basically unlimited stamina. But team time, I don't think I need this much stamina. I already have. If I do the team stamina, I might as well just swap this and give it a strength rune like this. But I also want to go with a strength rune that's mutated with stamina, if that makes sense. Um, so let's quickly look for one and we're going to go ahead and get that over to this monster. But I think this should be enough stamina. I mean, we remember with um, the previous monster, the race monster, I forgot her name. But right now, by the way, we are legendary leader. So we're going to be facing some tough opponents, possibly. Um, this is what I was afraid of. Yeah, and there's an animation right there. Look, um... She does have any ER skill though, so she might end up cleansing it. So it kind of, that kind of sucks. But let's see what we can do here. Actually, let's, let's just see what we can do. So we have two tortures already. I might as well cleanse it, right? Shall I, I guess. I guess we should. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, we should definitely use our NER skill already. Um, but my, I made my dog faster than my other monster on accident. Okay, so if I do this, it's gonna trigger an anti, and then I'm. Oh, I can always just resurrect as well. That's right. I can definitely resurrect. Um, vulnerability. No, I don't want to stack anything. I'm going to do this on purpose. The damage boost with precision. Sh Let's just hope that she doesn't NER. I feel like she might on the last turn or something. Let's just hope she doesn't. Okay, so we're going to do it again. We're going to do this again on purpose. Let's just please hope that that monster does not NER. Because if it does, it's going to be an issue. Okay, my monster died. There it goes. It finally died. Okay. So what we could do is we can either cleanse stuff or we can... Oh, block resurrection. I didn't even see that. Okay, we can definitely cleanse everything. That's for sure. That's a go-to, right? <laughs> Might as well. I could have also PR'd it, actually. But now that face shield triggered, I should be good. Okay. Um, We're going to heal. I'm glad he actually ended up healing there. Spirit Destiny kicks in. PR twice. Okay. 
Well, the monster ended up dying. But now we have Clutch in. Clutch is going to be a pain. Eliminating Clutch will be a pain. But now that we have our monster here... Oh, no, this isn't good. Okay, how about we do... Let me see. We do triple damage. So this is the deal damage and then gives it triple damage, right? So we got triple damage. There goes face shield. And I'm going to get hit by seven cents once. I think I got hit with poison or something. Or I don't know. Wait. Oh, look at this, guys. Cash dog? This is a 30% power, by the way. It is just so powerful. Look at that thing. How much damage did I just deal? 706k. This is a 30% single target power, by the way. Isn't that insane? Steel stomp. We're going to go on a charge up. And I might have to... Oh, never mind. We could just attack and win this. There we go. GG. Okay, I have a different rune setup this time. Um, we're doing triple life on our tank, okay? Face shields. Uh, we have over 1.6 million life. Uh, this monster has triple strength, right? Okay. I think we should be able to take in the damage there without uh, dying. Um, I might be wrong, actually. I don't know. I think it, it deals about 1.2 million damage. That's how much damage it actually deals. Um, so we can go ahead and do the 100% damage mirror here. We can PR twice if we wanted to. We should, shall we? No. Uh, we can also... Wait. Wait, wait, wait. There's no animation here, right? Soul Drag? Oh, there's Soul Drag. Okay, how about we make it really weak, but we don't kill it. But at the same time, it's okay if we do kill it. Um, Let's NER, so we don't have that anymore. We do Vonder... I accidentally tapped on vulnerability. I forgot that doesn't give you an extra turn. That Oh, it kind of messed me up. Um... Wait, I think I'm fine. I think I'm fine. Actually, that kind of helped me out. If you think about it, it kind of helped me out because it got rid of the evasion and stuff like that on this monster. And the other one has skill mirror and all that, but it's okay. Um, here, we still will still play it out, right? Okay. Um, and at least there's no taunt anymore now, so we don't have to worry about soul drag, right? Um, so we can PR twice. We do it on this monster. We do it back to me. Curse. I don't think that's going to kill me. There's no way that killed me. Uh, we do the double damage. Now we have vulnerability at least. Hunt mode. That's definitely going to kill me. There's no way that doesn't kill me. Triple damage. I think my monster is dead. Nope. It's actually alive. Look at that. Look how much damage that actually... This one's probably one of my favorite skills. Even though it doesn't give you an extra turn, it actually deals quite a lot of damage. Uh, there's a triple damage. Triple damage again. Oh my gosh. Isn't that insane? My monster's dead though. I forgot about that. <laughs> I forgot about the soul drag. <laughs> We're not going to talk about that. I should probably take my time here instead of rushing through these. We're going to go on and heal. Um, we resurrect. Give it an extra turn, yeah. And since you have Megatons and taking all the incoming damage, we can go ahead and do triple damage over. And we basically continue spamming that over and over again. And look, World Magus, there's a Mr. Beast one. And basically, we just continue spamming that. Um, unless, hold on, let me see, what are you running? Um, you do have damage protection. Oh, you're running face shields. Okay, um, we got damage boost. Yeah, that double damage. Triple damage is better. Triple damage deals more. Plus, we can't even attack that monster anyway. Because they're the Megatons here, Bodyguard. Um, so here, now we do double damage since we're done with triple damage and we have no more stamina. And that's why I wanted to deal more, um, or I wanted to do more, what's it called, stamina rune. Or at least one more stamina rune. Because of relics like that, it just keeps kicking in and messing you up. We can go ahead and NER, life regen, and we're back at it. Look at this. Look how broken this is, guys. Triple damage, back to back, over and over again. Isn't that just insane? We do triple damage here. Oh, there. wait, you have taunts? If you have taunts, okay. We do the double damage this time. Charge up. Or I could have also went with vulnerability, but that's okay. We got hit with the AoE skill. We do this to heal more. We can possess. Um, it's going to land only on one monster. It's just going to deal the damage. It's gonna, okay. Killed me. Holy Sun is gonna do that. We can't resurrect, but it's okay. We're gonna do the curse. Okay. And I might go with my 100% damage mirror. I'm not sure if you already use your PER skill. Okay, you want with that. We're gonna go ahead and resurrect. We're gonna do triple damage. GG's. <laughs> Let's keep going. I'm, I'm having a lot of fun here, so... Let's see what we got here. All right, so we have Spirit Destiny on this monster's Dark Passenger. And okay, so we don't have to worry about much, basically. You know, there's Death Countdown. None of them can any actually, none of them can any are. They can even die from Death Countdown if I just let it. But we're not going to do that. We're going to eliminate them one by one. If not, actually, we're going to kill two of them. The other one's going to die to the Death Countdown. I'm going to kill the other with Death Countdown. The reason for that is because 
Um, I think one of them had seven, no, not seven cents. What was it? Hollow mirror. That, that's what it was. So here we go ahead and NER. Um, so you want to make this monster go before that one. And then you can go ahead. Let me check this real quick. Hollow mirror. Spirit of Destiny, there's Sandy Damon, Wormhole Trap. Wormhole Trap is going to mess me up a little. Okay, how about we target this one first? There's 100% um, damage here, but that's okay because it's going to deal zero damage now because of the face shield. Face shield just kicked in. Bye bye. See so, ya. Yeah. And that actually helped me out. It triggered it again. Healed me even more. What do you have? Spirit of Destiny. Triple damage. Triple damage again. We get hit with Wormhole Trap one more. And then we do triple damage. And last but not least, the vulnerability, which just OTKs, guys. Look at this. Look how powerful that is. 993,000 damage. That's almost a million. So, yeah, the crazy thing is that all of his skills are basically spammable. You know what I mean? Literally, every single one of them has zero cooldown right now. So, you can spam it as much as you want. Um, except these ones, of course, because they don't really give you an extra turn. So, in my opinion, the best skills to actually run on him right now, since he's so broken, is these four right here. One of them gives you vulnerability, and it's actually a 30 percent or is it 30 uh, percent single target and it deals a lot of damage you know what i mean while you have that triple damage with triple strength it just otks the enemy you know what i mean imagine if that was an aoe skill that would have been a lot better in my opinion um but sometimes having single targets are also not that bad uh but anyways guys so i hope you guys have better enjoyed today's um monster legends you know video on this once again huge thanks to clockhawk for letting me borrow his account to make this video possible once again you can check out his youtube channel link in the description down below he does upload ml content but yeah, he is just, yeah, man, he already got this dog already to 150. Isn't that insane? Um, but anyways, guys, thank you all so much for watching today's video. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.